Hello everyone, it's Aino, and today I will make a new tutorial about the effects on the font. So let's go! So I already make all the fonts and the effects, but I will explain everything. So the first one, it's the easiest, I think, because we just have to change the mode here to overlay. So as you can see, we see the background. So it's super cool, but be careful, because if the spot is too dark or too bright, we can't see anything. So, the second one, it's like overlay, but with soft light. So, it's actually with less contrast. And for this one, it's just as well with overlay mode. And I duplicate it, so I will show you. So, I duplicate this one. So if you don't remember, it's on the option here, and duplicate the layers. So now we will just add the blur effect. So you go on filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Okay. So for the pixel, it's between 2 and 20, I think. Because after it's too much, for, for example, 100, we, we see nothing. So it's useless. So for me, I will use five pixels. Okay. And you have a different style. So it's cool sometimes. Okay, so for the second style, it's about the gradient. So you will right click on your text layer option, and it's just here overlay in gradient. So you just have to change the color here and make sure you have 100 in opacity because you can see the color if it's at zero. All right, so say OK. For the second one, I just add the edges. So it's just here. So I don't know in English, it's maybe contour or edges. So for the size, I used two pixels. So the third one, it's about the first option because I really don't know in English. So you just have to click on it here and we will add the maximum for the first option here. And for the size, we put zero pixel. And you will see a little difference I'm not sure you can see it, but on the corner here, you can see some light and sometimes it's cool. Okay. So for the next style, it's about the shadow. So go again on the option of your text layer. And for me, it's the last one, shadow. So as you can see, it's the shadow out. So you can play with it. I often use this one. The second one is the shadow in. So I'm gonna go. So for me, it's here. So for the last one, it's actually the shadow out again, but I put 100 on the middle one. And finally, the last one, it's about the picture on the font. So you just have to make your text and you will add your background in the file just on the top of your text layer and you will make a clipping layer just here and as you can see when we move the picture it stay on the font and we can see the picture on the font so you can do something like this and I make some different way to, to do it so thank you for watching, uh, I hope you liked this tutorial and see you soon.